It's going to be on tackling fundamentals. And we coach really our entire defense with this uh, group of tackling drills. We like to start first with our players in a fit position where they're in contact, they've got good bend in the knees, ankles, and hips, and they're in a grab position. So they understand what a perfect fit would be on a tackle. All right, so, and we like to use the words bite the ball. Get your body in a position where you can bite the ball, whether it's in the outside arm of the running back. Okay, so you'll see uh, we, we started already with a fit, and then the next phase of our teaching is going to be starting from a hit point. And the hit point is I'm arm's length from the ball carrier. So if I refer to the word hit point, we're arm's length away from the ball carrier. So, <coughs> excuse me. So here we're lined up with our linebackers. They're arm's length away from the ball carrier, which are the players facing us and this home audience here. And we're going to work on just our strike, our footwork with a good base, regaining the base, and then punch with the arms. So on the command, you'll see all the linebackers uh, attack, shoot their hands and hips, try not to wind up. We don't want to bring our hands back. We like to shoot the hands and get a good grab tackle, a good grab on the back of the respective back. So we're just alternating here. We're at hit point depth, arms length off, and now we're going to shoot the hands, regain a good base, get your eyes to the sky, teaching very simple and good strike mechanics on tackle. All right, you can just see how we went through that from a hit point fit position. Now we're going to get them off the football, about two or three steps from contact, and we're going to work on a shimmy, which is just gathering our feet, we're shimmying to the target, and then we'll shoot the hands and grab cloth. So that's what shimmy strike means. And you'll get an opportunity to see that here on this, this phase of the video. Okay, so a couple steps from contact, good baby position, shimmy your feet, shoot the hands, grab cloth. Shimmy, shoot, and club, or grab. You can put all this in your own terminology, but make it as simple as you can, okay, in terms of the approach angle. Very simple, two to three feet, or steps from contact. Now we're going to get them further off the football, and now we're going to start with a run, which is the speed, then come down to a shimmy, and then execute the club, which you'll see on this next phase of the drill. And this is how we teach every position. So we're using the, the pro hash marks for the separation of the distance between the tackler and the ball carrier here. So again, on the command set, you'll see speed, shimmy, slide, club. Okay, let's take another look at it. All right, there's good, again, separation as we're closing distance. Speed, shimmy, shuffle, club. Okay, same drill. Now, now we're going to go to an angle, and most of our tackles are at, on an angle versus straight on. So now the angle will be speed here, then shimmy, then execute the club coming at an angle to the respective ball carrier. So as you watch this now, there's the angle. And as they get to the hit point, you tell the back to make his move so we can execute the angle tackle. Another picture of it right here going to the defensive left. Speed, shimmy, slide, club. Pretty good picture. Here's, this is over-exaggerating the shimmy, slide, and club. But I'm trying to bring it up front and personal to you. Just shimmy, gather your feet, slide, and club. Now, speed, shimmy, slide, club. All right, so we're off the football now. Speed, shimmy, slide, club. Pretty good shots of just really trying to coach up the fundamentals. Here's the angular tackle now from an angle. So it'll be speed to shimmy to slide and club, as you watch right here. Speed, shimmy, slide, club. Try not to, we'd like to be fluid in our movement. We don't want to hop or fall step by any stretch. Speed, shimmy, slide, club. This is a bunch of rookies early on in, in uh, uh, the, the rookie mini camp trying to work on these tackling fundamentals. But again, it's, I think, the real fundamentals that make your team solid in terms of tackling. Once you've gone through that, that uh, step-like process, now you can incorporate the sideline tackle, the open field tackle, 
the drop, the pass drop tackle, the trigger tackle, some of these other drills that we're going to just show you that you can put on your menu for uh, your linebackers. This is a sideline tackle. Okay, we've got a 10 yard distance between the ball carrier and the tackle. All right, so we want to again come at an angle where we're speed, shimmy, slide, and wrap up. Same drill. Now, hat the hat to the near hip, all right, or hat to near number. Right here, this is going to be a missed tackle because it's a poor approach angle. All right, so there's, in this video here, we're showing you all of it now. It's not all highlights. Okay, so 10 yard separation, speed, shimmy, club. Here we go. Speed, shimmy, club, wrap up, bring your hips, regain a base with your feet. Regain a base with your feet. Okay, now we're changing the back and the ball carrier, or the back and the tackler. This is the ball carrier, there's the defender. You'd like the back to make one move. We'd like him to make one move. We're not trying to be uh, Red Grange here. We'd like to make one, one move, uh, and I think you get a pretty good picture of the drill here. We're not live tackling it either. These are good thump or thud tackles. We're trying to get great upper body violence by our tackler, but not taking anybody down. Now an open field tackle, probably the hardest one for us to make in ball, we've got again a good 10, 10 yard separation between the ball carrier and the defender, and we'd like to have, or in this case the ball carrier and the defender, we'd like to have, uh, make sure that we see this tackle versus hearing it. Okay, so grab a body part. Okay, grab a body part. So here you'll see with space now, this isn't with no pads, this is just with hats on, the, the, again the gather, the shimmy, the come to balance, and grab cloth. Regain a base with your feet. Simple drill, again 10 yard separation. The back gets really one good move, but let's make sure we secure the tackle. We want to see it. If we can hear it, that's good, but if we see it, that's the key. Get that tackle made. Now drop tackle, all we're simulating this drill is just a simple pass drop. And again, the same, put your foot in the ground, speed, shimmy, club, wrap up. Just trying to add another component uh, and trying to develop eyes, hands, and feet. Okay? The trigger tackle is another opportunity where the linebacker is going to open his hips to his hook. He stays visual with the quarterback. The quarterback throws the ball to a check down and back in front of him. Now you want to get him to get his foot in the ground and come downhill and understand that he's got another defender with him. Okay, so what we're trying to do here is open our hips to get to the hook. We'll settle when a quarterback does, and as he gives us in direction and then delivery, trigger and bring hat to near number. And you'll see here our linebacker here working real hard to start the lawnmower. That's a shot to try to get the ball off the guy. So now we've got three linebackers in the, this same trigger drill. They're going to open their hips, Trigger on the quarterback, meaning plant and drive on his direction and delivery, and then close with the proper exit angle to make the play. Now, the bad tackle, and these are just a variety of drills for you to choose as you're trying to improve your linebackers and your defenders in tackling. The bad tackle gives us the best chance without any injury possibility of really getting the full body hit through on a, on a ball carry. And we use a bag, we use a um, uh, coach to give us running direction and as you'll see this drill then we get a good follow through kind of developing the kinesthetic sense if you will of making a tackle. So here's our coach right now this happens to be the DBs but we use it at all positions simulate the running back and then the follow through the hit through where we use a tackling mat and this can be a, a mat you get off your track team or you can certainly buy these all the vendors have them but where we're simulating the follow through the aggressive body feeling of getting a great tackle. So nobody gets hurt in that drill. Your players